All right, guys, so let's talk about PES 2018. Let's start off with graphics. So obviously the graphics are fantastic. Um, you know, since they've increased it, you know, it, it looks it looks really good. You can just tell, you know, it's, it's definitely a step up from PES 17 and PES 16 and definitely the older ones before that. But just, you know, from different, the player models, um, the lighting, of course. Remember when PES used to never have it feel like a day match um you know and even fifa needs to take a page out of their book in terms of making the night matches look realistic and i think the pest team did fantastic i think the pest 2018 demo is a great look overall i mean the increase um of attention to detail for the pitch textures um for the colors uh, it's just it's really fantastic we we've been wanting this for a long time no more boring pitches no more you know um just kind of you know lighting that was off there no more random you know, kind of bad shadows and level of detail etc i'm really loving how the game looks right and that's that's a big thing and i think it's something that was that was a really high priority i i get that i think it's definitely a high priority for any game to focus on the graphics and especially one that's going to sell for as much as pest does it's definitely got to appeal to the masses in that respect um you know it's not to say i would play the game if it was just sticks you know but if it means better gameplay then for sure you know i definitely consider it um but you know the the adjustment to the graphics has been fantastic and complementing that of course is player models player models are light years better than PES 16 and PES 17. The sh big baggy shorts are gone. Now you, you can, you know, that makes the player models a little smaller in the sense, but not not smaller in their frame, but more so smaller in their width. They're no longer, you know, just seeming like really bulky players um, with really, you know, big legs and big calves and, and no real scale or proportion to them. Um, now it seems like they, they can move better. It, it just looks better more aesthetically, um, which is the goal when they made this, uh, you know, made this adjustment and made the announcements. You know, the smaller shorts was a big thing um, on the feature list, and they definitely delivered it. You know, we've all seen the videos, and, you know, I don't really need to go too crazy about that. Faces, um, tattoos, I mean, that's definitely a big thing for those who feel that's important. Um, I think faces is, a, is definitely a big thing, you know, if you're going to take a lot of screenshots or if you're going to want to, you know, look into replay a lot and see the reactions and, and everything. It's nice little touches. It's the little thing type of areas that pests really need to focus on. Um, Pest has always been about gameplay, less fluff, um, you know, and adhering to the demand for faces and tattoos i mean that's just modern football now a lot everybody has tattoos um you know everybody is recognizable you know who who this guy is because of this face obviously you know it's it's this face but what i mean is there are times in which the faces were really bad and it was almost comical but the gameplay was so good that you didn't really care about it right and so with pass 18 they made a big emphasis on faces reactions different emotions that can be seen it's fantastic that's football that's the modern game it's what we want to see and they've delivered again so really excellent job there um you know as i talked about about the feel of players that definitely complements it you know i hope as we get into master league and, and everything there that we can really start to feel the emotion of the game the atmosphere etc and speaking of atmosphere the demo doesn't really do a fantastic job at that, but I don't think that's the point of it. Um, you know, this is essentially these are friendlies, and um, while I would love, love for it to have a little bit more atmosphere, maybe cut to the crowd um, randomly, you know, during a throw in or something like that that gets you immersed into the game, right? They're talking about in the Champions League is going to be a, you know, a million seat. I'd like to hear that. I want to hear what that sounds like. What's going to be so different? If I see a million people, you know, what is that going to sound like, right? And and depending on what camera I'm using as well, am I going to see these, you know, this million-seater um, stadium? And it's not just that. I'd like to hear it in smaller stadiums too. So I hope I hope they focus on, you know, on the atmosphere um, and the ethos of, of kind of what PES is, is all about. Um and so that gets me 
basically to the next point, which is gameplay. You guys know me. Gameplay is the, the thing I focus on the most. And I think it's the, the thing that that all PES fans throughout the entire life cycle of PES focus on. Gameplay, 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 gameplay. So we, I got super excited as all the you know, footy you guys and... Um, you know, and, and everybody else who follows and um, just the PES community in general from, you know, uh, WNB to Evo Web to Operation Sports, just it's a big deal. Gameplay. So if we tack it down to gameplay, what are some of the things that we looked forward to? Well, we, we're hoping to see this master class. Like what is making this into a master class, right? You know, my overall thoughts um, will start overall with passing since passing is kind of where everything starts with pass right because you always say hey i'm using you know pass assist since level zero or level one um most people don't get respected if they're in two and three um but you know that's probably just a hardcore thing no big deal but um all of us you know stick to pa1 most of the time right and in terms of passing it's it's all about feeling the, the stats or the ratings of players stand out does the pest 2018 demo accomplish that i would say in certain cases um pest 2018 in general is focusing more about the sequence of movements right so if the sequence of movements um has to be relative to where the ball is in in the player's foot feet so to speak okay so you see that a lot in terms of the accuracy of passes if the ball is maybe underneath the player's body so you know the pass error is going to increase naturally as it should but you also see these super guided passes um, that don't make a difference if you're making a five yard pass a 10 yard pass or a 35 yard pass it seems to be high quality the whole way through there's nothing that changes um, and this happens for center backs, for right backs, for goalkeepers, you know, strikers who sh really shouldn't be able to make those kind of passes. It it's happening everywhere, through every team, through every rating. Um, you can accomplish it as the user. And I think that takes away some of that, that immersion um, that you, you have to start, you know, for us uh, Master League people, players, we, we start to think about, okay, well, I'm going to be playing a Master League. Is it really going to matter if I look at the pass ratings of my, of my um, you know, expected signings? I would say not. Not in, in the way the demo represents it. Because the passes are too easy. Um, and I think that the thing that we, that we have to focus on with that is that passes are easy because of, and you guys know what I'm going to say here, but it's off the ball positioning defensive AI, you know, defensive teammate AI, etc. If you don't have players blocking the passing lanes, passing is always going to be easy. That's the simple truth. If you have it all assisted and you know it's going to be maybe a high quality pass, well, high quality pass is relevant to what? You know, is it the decision to make that pass or is it the quality of actually striking the ball? The ball can still be struck very nicely, but if there's a defensive player in between the passing lane or covering the passing lane, then of course it, now it's a crap pass, right? Be people don't care if you hit the ball perfectly on the ground. You know, if you're watching watching the, the footy match, you're not thinking to yourself, okay, my center back is, is going to pass the ball straight forward 30 yards. It's going to look so nice on the ground. It's going to be beautiful. And then they make the pass and it hits the striker, you know, in the back, you know, well, maybe in the back of the shin or back of the ankle or something because it's low. Right. So does that mean it's a beautiful pass? No, that means it was a crap decision. It was a crap pass because it was a crap decision. That's how it works. I think with passing, there has to be something that complements passing and if passing is the offensive trait, the attacking trait, then something on the defensive trait or the defensive theme has to match up. Does that make sense? So basically, if you have passing, you can't just isolate passing as something to review. You have to also review 
why passing is the issue. Well, it's because the passing lanes aren't covered. You know, they, they go hand in hand. This is a sport. A sport is geared for opposing teams, opposing players, right? You play offense, I play defense. I play offense, you play defense, defense plays offense, etc., right? It's how it works. There has to be balance. And in PES, the way I saw the feature list, I didn't see anything, anything about defense. So naturally, and I think a lot of people share this, and why I make such a stink about off the ball positioning is because if there's no focus, no emphasis, no feature on what defense is going to do, then of course we're going to get a wide open match. And that's what we've been seeing with the PES 2018 demo. Um, because of the openness of the game. It's wide open because there's no emphasis for defense. What a lot of people love to do in the PES community, though, is they love to use tactics, advanced instructions, as the number one reason on why this, that, and the other. The problem with that mentality is... If you don't have the base of how to defend, how can you then validate the tactics and then the advanced instructions? There's no base to work from, okay? The formations are too spread out, okay? There's no passing lanes being covered. Let's just take those two points right there. If those two points aren't achieved, then the third point for preset tactics the fourth point for advanced instructions should never, ever, ever come into the equation. Without an emphasis of defense or off the ball positioning, then on the ball position or on the ball positioning or on the ball, anything loses its value because there's no risk and there's no reward. That's what I've been trying to say for such a long time. And people laugh when I talk about off the ball positioning or positioning in general. Well, I'm sorry. It's because of what you're getting in terms of feedback. People saying it's wide open. It's end to end. There's no challenge. That's how football works, right? You don't go in thinking you're just going to play offense and then the defense is just going to react to you, right? There are some teams that go in with defensive mindset and use that as a form and so they can attack. But the in the sense of preset tactics or the sense of tactics in general, that is not how we grow up playing the game. I wish what Konami needs to do is go and watch a pickup match. No tactics, obviously. No advanced instructions, obviously. And just see where the positioning on the field of every player is. And, come, and just find a way to put that on the radar. You guys notice the radar is the, ta is the coaches and a manager's tactic board, right? For you coaches who are listening to this or watching this, you'll understand that. So if we're supposed to play the game in order to judge it, then what's the point? Because if we can see on the radar that things are out of whack. If I'm trying to teach, you know, my U12 soccer team, you know, and showing them on the whiteboard of what they need to do, why do I have to go and kick the ball for them to tell them how it's done? They should just see it on the whiteboard. I'm going to show you this is what we're aiming for, right? We can talk about positions. We can talk about that, all that until we're blue in the face. But if they don't have the basic fundamentals of how to defend, such as, hey, don't overcommit your position by sprinting into a player, right? You jockey the player or you shift, you, you know, you move back and forth, you show your shoulder to them, right? It just basic fundamentals, um, covering space, right? If you go forward, then you have to drop back, etc. It's not a matter of tactics. It's, it's just fundamentals. And I wish what, what, what I really wish is I wish Konami would stop listening to everybody and just listen to themselves focus on where they started and and stop trying to please everybody if they go in in a room for eight months and just listen to themselves and don't think about feedback from the community i'd much prefer that than listen to everybody 
Because what's happened now is we're seeing this evolution of online football, esports, right? FIFA's, FIFA may be the cause, but FIFA's base positioning and base fundamentals are a lot better from what I've seen. Yes, when they go into motion, FIFA's crap. You know, it's just how it is. FIFA's built off of two formats. One, players running off the ball excessively, right? Which is why in sliders, we just reduce that amount and we're in good shape and we can start from there. Two, defenders following those players that are running excessively. What you see in PES is two is multiple actually, but the result of what you see is they're running off the ball and they're being followed by defenders. And the defenders that aren't following the players are turning their backs and sprinting back to a position. Now it's not as bad as 17 and 16 and 17 where the attack defensive levels were the, were the root cause, but it's more so that they're so passive that they're just, they'd rather drop all the way back and be safe. This is an issue that's been going on with PES since PES 2010, and I've been saying, singing the same song for that long. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, and I always get the, 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 the reply, you know, that I'm one man's opinion. Obviously, I'm not. You know, obviously, I'm not. And because it's not just about that. It's finding solutions to the problem. Thinking like a coach. Not even thinking like a coach. More just thinking like like watching a football match and understanding how that works. You know, or just seeing the, the logical sense of, hey, why did that player have 30 yards to sprint? Oh, well, because this player moved out of position and this player, you know, went backwards and went to go shake hands with the goalkeeper. So, that's what I'm saying. There's no rhyme or reason to not understand where the frustration is. I've been singing the same song. I said it on the very first video. There's so much space and I've showed examples of it. And I'm not trying to make a name for myself. I'm not trying to suck up. I'm not trying to make anybody upset. I'm just pointing out solutions. And while I may not be officially part of Konami or anything like that, I've been working on solutions for their games since I was 18 years old. I'm 32 now, okay? It's probably a little younger than 18, but still, in terms of what I've worked in on the community, uh, you know, that's not tooting my own horn. It's just mainly focusing on ways it can be better and ways in which it can achieve so much better. And the best part about it, nobody's ever going to notice. Only people that are looking for it will notice. Just like those who look for faces, you know, look for, you know, a pimple on a player's face and then not see it, they're going to say something. Just like the player, the people who love nets and say, hey, the nets don't look right, they're going to say something. So let's, if Konami is going to listen, then listen and listen to the people that focus in specific areas. And realize that we all have something to contribute. We have something to contribute. Please listen. Don't listen to the quantity of people. Listen to the quality. You know, I work in tech support and we listen to feedback all the time. But it doesn't mean we take every feedback. We don't take the quality. Or we, sorry, we don't take the quantity of responses. Right? We take the quality and how is it going to help our product. If we try to adhere to everybody's demand nothing's ever going to happen you know so it's just the focus that i really hope that pest goes going forward is it pest 18 no it's probably not you know it's in maybe another year of that and it's going to be another year in which i've pre-ordered both versions of the game for ps4 and pc right and i'm ready to, to get stuck in and try to figure this out with my boys um you know the footy you guys IEC reaper 31 papino um, Clash to see what he figures out. Royce to see what he figure out, figures out in Operation Sports. Kalei, Kalei, I don't know how to say his name, from Evo Web in Operation Sports. Um, and, and my boy, of course, D Mendenhall. We've got a whole group of guys that focus on not just tactics, but they focus on the fundamentals and how it can be achieved in the platform that we're given. The platform that we're given is PES's tactical system, the one that they love so much. I get that. That's fine let's work from it and let's work hard in it and, and let's figure out a solution i would love to see if 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 there's a chance that we're heard and there's a chance that that they try it this way and see what the response is like 
I've never seen PES fans complain about anything being too hard, right? That sounds like a FIFA complaint more than anything. No, no offense to FIFA players. So, and the nice thing about FIFA, you can just modify that with sliders. Just saying. With PES, though, you can't. With PES, you have to go and find a way to edit individual teams, hoping that the formula that you found is going to be able to apply to each individual teams and it's going to achieve the fundamentals. I think we're getting in this this position and this is a three year cycle, then I'd love to see where it fell off because 2014 had it right. 2014, I've had video on this back when I couldn't really speak loud enough, but 2014 was a, the problem with 2014 was the, the defenders following the attackers so deep into the box that it didn't make sense to have a defensive line. Other than that, PES 2014, from a positional standpoint, from a blocking passing lane standpoint, from a challenge standpoint, was quite adequate. So I was hoping to see the same thing for PES 2018. I've watched the videos. I haven't said anything, you know, because I'm supposed to play the game. So here I have. I've played the demo, and I hope that means something. I hope that that will make things valid. I've joined footy, you guys, you know, to, to make it even more valid. And we all kind of share the same thoughts. We all have specialists in certain areas. And, you know, the guys are who they are. And they're amazing people. And I love feeding back ideas. And they've made me feel better about certain things. And then I've also felt crap about certain things. The guys who went to E3, you know, the guys who didn't go to E3 and are watching it, just how I am. Talk to people who have been to the world tours, you know, and these are quality individuals, great individuals, big PES fans. And I just need to see more, more input, more emphasis on focusing on the fundamentals. This is what I ask. If you can't get off, if you can't get defense right, then you, you can't get offense right. It goes both ways. You have to get both of them right. There has to be a balance. I can't wait to the day till they scrap the advanced instructions or they re they work it from the ground up. Um, and that's, you know, this has kind of turned into more so not a very structured PES 2018 demo review. Um, you know, I usually go on rambles like this because I am super passionate about PES and I'm, I just don't want to go through PES 17 again. I put my heart and soul into that every single day for hours upon hours and I don't want to have to do that again but I feel like it's going to be the case and I feel like I don't want pest guys to to lose faith you know and lose lose the fact that we're so close yet so far I really really hope there's still time to look into the balance of the game and just see what we can do with it guys all right, well, I want to thank you guys as always for, for checking out my videos. I hope some of it made sense. Um, you know, feel free to leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and where you feel about the demo and where you feel about PES overall. Um, of course, make sure to check out the footy, you guys, um, and, you know, listen on, our, on the podcast that's coming up. Um, I'm, I'm not sure when we're having it next, but we will have it. Um, and I can't wait to, to talk to the boys some more about it. Um, but make sure to, to check out their content. I'm going to work on some content for them too and get this rolled out. Thanks uh, for those of you you know who are, who are new to the channel and subscribed. It's amazing the support I've received here um, of just getting you know people subscribing to the channel even though I haven't uploaded any real content for about a month. Um, so I really appreciate that, guys. So anyway... As always, take care and stay tuned. Um, takes his time, easy pass. Another out to the wing, easy pass. And we stop it right there as well. We can draw it again.